All right, what is going on guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media back with another Dokkan battle video. So as you guys may know, the next world tournament is starting on Global, I believe tomorrow night. And in today's video, I wanna give you guys a quick breakdown of all the details for this particular tournament so that you guys are fully prepared and ready to go once it officially begins. All right, so without further ado, let's jump right into it. And as you can see, this is going to be the 32nd World Tournament on Global. I believe JP is about to get their 34th tournament at the same time. So we're about two tournaments behind JP at this point. And if the banner image wasn't enough of a clue, the new reward units for this tournament are going to be a new Int Khalifla as well as a tech kale and both of these units are really really good in fact i would go as far to say that they're probably the best tournament reward units we have ever received up to this point so i do expect this tournament to be a little bit more competitive than normal since i think a lot of people are gonna want at least one extra dupe of each of them now i could be wrong i think people are also just really tired of world tournaments but uh these two are definitely more hype than your average world tournament rewards so it could be pretty difficult or at least harder than normal to get to you know your top 10,000 or top 20,000 placement all right so we'll get into the details for these two in just a second but first things first let's uh take a look at the other stuff so as always if you somehow manage to rank in the top uh, 10 or even number one, you get an absolutely just ludicrous amount of orbs. Uh, 2,500 of each large orb, 25,000 of each medium orb, and 45,000 of each large orb. Essentially enough to rainbow like 10 units of each type. It's absolutely ridiculous, but let's be honest, ain't nobody got time for that. I mean, if you do respect right like if you somehow manage to get to number one like you don't sleep for the entire weekend and you get number one or even number two is still a ton of orbs number three number four to ten is still a ton of orbs like that's still enough orbs to rainbow like uh i think five or six of each type of unit right so uh if you're in the top 10 you're set for a long time as far as orbs are concerned and also enough dupes to essentially rainbow each of the new reward units for free um, it's a pretty, pretty nice deal, but for the average person, it's just really not feasible. So let's go somewhere a little bit more realistic where most people are going to end up. And let's say you end up in the top 20,000. Like I said, it probably is going to be a little bit more difficult to get to that point for this tournament because I do think people are going to want that extra dupe of each of these girls. So I'm expecting the cutoff for top 20k to at least be in like the 40 millions or so, but we'll see. Obviously, I don't know for sure, but I think it's probably pretty likely. So if you're in the top 20,000, between 10,001 to 20,000, you'll get one dupe of each of the girls, as well as some extra tickets, two Kais, and some other good stuff. And if you're in the top 10,000, between 5,001 to 10,000, you get two extra dupes for the bottom right path and top left path. And then again, some Kai's, I mean, one more Kai, I believe, yeah, one more Kai, some more tickets and uh, medals and training items. And then in the top 2,500, or sorry, 2,100 to 5,000, it's three dupes. And then between 1,001 to 2,000, it's four dupes. So if you want the ability to rainbow them, you have to be in the top 2,000. And uh, of course, you don't get the free SA here, but both of them do have farmable super attacks. So you just have to put in a little bit more effort than the number one guy or the number two guy to uh, rainbow your respective Kale and Khaliflas, but it shouldn't be that bad. So if you are looking to rainbow both of them, try to get within the top 2000. It's gonna be probably pretty tough. I don't know what the cutoff would be, but I mean, you gotta be at least in like top, uh, I mean, over like 70, 80 million points or maybe more, 100 million, who knows? Who knows but it's gonna be hard so good luck to anybody going for that goal for me personally if i'm somewhere in this range i'll be more than happy all right so <laughs> those are the placement rewards 
and uh, obviously for 500 or 50,000 and one to 100,000 you're not getting much but you do still get a few things uh, basically like a participation reward now moving on to the special ranking rewards and honestly this is something I had no idea about until I saw this page and apparently if you have a rank that is either three repeating digits four repeating digits or five repeating digits you get some additional rewards all right so if you have a rank that's like one 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 or 222 or 333 then you'll get one extra copy of Kale and Khalifla and if you have a rank that's like 1111 or 2222 for four repeating digits you get an extra Kai and if you have a rank that's five repeating digits like 11111 or 22212 uh, 202 and so on and so forth then you get three extra silver uh, guaranteed SSR tickets so I mean, it's pretty cool. I don't think it's possible to actually control something like this because whatever rank you end up being could always change by the time that um, all the calculations are done, especially after they ban all the people that were modding, right? So uh, this is just kind of a little random thing that could happen if you get lucky. But I mean, once again, it's impossible to actually purposely get a rank with three repeating or four repeating or five repeating digits, right? Now let's take a look at the local rewards. And if you place in the top 150 in your local area, I mean, as we now know, it's not really people around you. It's just a random pool of players that Bandai puts you in. But if you place in the top 150 for your local area, then you can get at least one copy of the LR Yamcha and Puar. But if you place in the top 10, then you can also get Dragon Stones. So for fourth to 10th, it's one stone. For second and third, it's three stones. And for number one, it's seven stones. Now, most of the time, it's not too hard for me to at least get in like the top three for my local area, but sometimes you get these like super tryhards if you get unlucky and you know, someone in your area has like 150 million points, then you're kind of screwed, right? So that has happened to me before, but generally speaking, getting the top three is not too bad. And seven stones is a pretty decent incentive for people to at least go for that number one spot. Um, because I don't think it was always seven stones. I think that only started about five or six tournaments ago. It used to be just one stone for the top 10 people. And uh, I believe that was when we had LR, Tian, and Tzu as the reward. All right, so uh, that's pretty good, seven stones. And if you place in the top 10, you can get at least one stone and one Yamcha and Puar, as well as, you know, some Hercule statues. Uh, these medals can be pretty useful for awakening units and also some friend points, which obviously everybody needs more of. Now let's take a look at the uh, missions, right? So. These are the missions for total number of wins, and the rewards here are pretty standard, right? So you're getting some Dragon Stones and some tickets for the World Tournament Dragon Ball Saga banner, up until 20 total wins. So for Dragon Stones, it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 stones, and then a bunch of silver tickets, some gold tickets, and then 10, uh, I think 50G Gravity Chambers at 20 wins. And then for the tiers here, uh, essentially, you're just going up in the tiers as you get more points. I believe you can reach the final tier pretty quickly at around 5 million points or something like that, which is the Beerus tier. So for going up in the tiers, it's 1, 2, and then 10 here, so 12 Dragon Stones in total. And then for total number of points, you're getting 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, uh, let's see, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 Dragon Stones. And of course, at 23 million points, you are guaranteed the new World Tournament units, the Kale and Khalifla, just one copy of each. But uh, that's still pretty nice because in the past, we were never guaranteed. Or I mean, up until, I don't know, maybe five or six World Tournaments ago, we were not guaranteed the new units. You had to be in the top 10,000 or top 20,000 to get a copy. So I really like this new feature they implemented a couple tournaments ago. And a lot of people actually just stop there. Although I personally do usually go up until at least 30 million points because that's quite a few Kai's you're missing out on, man. That's three Elder Kai's and then one Grand Kai of each type. And these days I am really, really hurting for Kai's. So I'm definitely gonna get at least 30 million, but most likely going for like 40 million plus to get the top 20K for that extra dupe of Kale and Khalifla. 
And what else is there? Okay, of course, along the way you also get some orbs of each type. 20 large, uh, 300 medium, and 500 small. And also Hercule statues, guaranteed SSR tickets, all that good stuff. And for wins in a row, so win streak, you can get one stone for two win streak, seven stone or two stones for seven win streak, five stones for fifteen win streak. That's a total of ten, I believe. No, eight. My bad. That's eight stones right there. And then an Elder Kai for twenty wins in a row. And last but not least, we have some extra missions. So you get one stone for advancing to the semifinals for the first time, which everybody should be able to get. And then we also have five daily missions for total number of wins that day. So you get one stone for one win and then uh, two stones for five total wins. And the world tournament technically goes for three days. So if you do the daily missions every single day, that's three times three, nine stones plus one over here for 10 total stones from the extra missions and uh, that is pretty much it for this world tournament now of course we have to go over the details now for the Kale and Khalifla before we go but as far as the tournament itself goes uh, those are all the details right so starting with the Khalifla here she is an Int Khalifla terrific adaptability actually the name could change once uh, she comes out on global because I believe this is the Japanese translation. So terrific adaptability, Khalifla. Leader skill is super int types, key plus two, HP, attack and defense plus 70%. Super attack is energy blast, raises attack and defense and causes supreme damage. So of course, She's going to be good for the uh, Legendary Goku event if you guys choose to use her. But there are a lot of stackers on, you know, at least pure Saiyans. So you don't really need her. Although she would actually make Universe Survival Saga a lot easier. As well as like Peppy Gals if you want to run that. I mean, I've never attempted the event with a Peppy Gals team. But I would assume that it's possible, right? With this Kale and Khalifla. And also the summonable base Kale and Khaliflas and also the LR Kale and Khalifla and a bunch of other units in the Peppy Gals category are pretty damn solid. So it's probably possible to do it, right? I guess we'll find out in an upcoming video. But anyways, she is really good for that event because she raises attack and defense every single time she supers up to 99 turns. And her passive is attack and defense plus 60% and also attack and defense plus 10% per universe 6 category ally on the team high chance of evading enemies attack including super attacks and launches an additional super attack when your team has an ally whose name includes kale attacking in the same turn her link skills are the same lineage same warrior race battlefield diva prodigies warriors of universe 6 and tournament of power and her categories are peppy gals universe survival saga pure saiyans and universe 6 so like i said this khalifla is really really good especially if you pair her up with a kale since she'll be evading attacks and also launching at least two guaranteed supers every single turn and if you're running a full universe 6 team then she's going to be getting a pretty massive boost on her passive as well uh, up to what, 130 percent attack and defense so that's pretty good as well and yeah let's move on now to the kale her leader skill is super tech types keep plus two hp attack and defense plus 70 percent uh, her super attack raises attack and defense and causes supreme damage just like khalifla and her passive is universe six category allies attack plus 20 percent and defense plus 10 percent pure saiyans category allies attack plus 20 percent and defense plus 10 percent and defense plus 120 percent and launches an additional super attack when your ally or when your team has an ally whose name includes khalifla attacking in the same turn so uh, she's very similar actually to the khalifla except that she's more of a support unit as opposed to khalifla who's more of an offensive unit but uh, obviously when you pair them together then they both become really freaking good and her links are the same warrior wait hold on i think they're the exact same link sets uh let's see here same warrior race prodigies Okay, no, so instead of Prodigy, she has Rival Duo, but everything else should stay the same. And categories are Peppy Gals, Universe Survival Saga, Pure Saiyans, and Universe 6. And uh, that's pretty much it. I think the main differences in stats here is that Kale has a little bit higher attack, but uh, Khalifla has a bit higher defense. And I think 
Kale also has like 30 more HP. Yeah, literally 30 more HP. So very, very good units, both of them. And uh, I do want to get that extra dupe. I just don't know if I want to put in the extra time that's going to take to grind all those points. So that is the video today, guys. Hopefully this helped you, you know, get a little bit better prepared for the upcoming world tournament. Uh, another reason actually this one might be extra competitive is that we haven't had a world tournament on global for a while. So maybe people are starting to miss it. You know, people have had a long enough break now where they're like, yo, I actually want to grind another world tournament. So another contributing factor to this one being a little bit more competitive than normal. So uh, that's it guys, thank you so much for watching. Let me know in the comments down below if you plan to grind hard for this world tournament or are you only gonna be doing the missions and then leaving or are you gonna completely skip it? I know some people do that as well. I don't recommend it since it is about 50 stones you're missing out on, but it's totally up to you. Let me know what your plans are in the comments down below. And as always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video and if it's your first time watching me first time to the channel and you like what you see then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the tiger squad now and while you're at it hit that notification bell too so that youtube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content and that's it i'm out of here until next time hope you guys have a fantastic fantastic day i'm tiger with tiger uppercut media signing out